Lachit Borbukan stands tall among the leaders of Ahom who, for having waged one of the most crucial battles against an invading Mughal army, decimating the enemy and turning them decisively back. The Ahom kings ruled parts of what is now modern-day Assam and parts of its neighboring states for 600 years. The rule coincided with the time that the Mughals dominated much of South Asia, yet the Ahoms held out and are believed to have defeated the Mughals 17 times. The Assamese people remember Lachit Borbukan as a great military hero and Chief Minister Himanda Biswa Sarma wants more Indians to know about the man who became a legend in the northeastern state. Sarma has written a letter to his counterparts in the other states, urging them to include a chapter on the warrior in their textbooks for school and college students. The Assam government is marking the 400th birth anniversary of the 17th century Ahom Army General. Lachit Borbukan, who was born on November 24 in the year 1622 in Charaido, the first capital of the Ahom kings. He led two battles against an alien Mughal army and is remembered for the daring naval battle in Sairakad, said to be one of the last efforts of the Mughal army to expand into the northeast frontiers. Before the fateful Battle of Saraikat, there was the Battle of Arai Bol, which was fought on August 5, 1669, in the Alaboy Hills near Tardara in North Kohadi. Aurangzeb had ordered the invasion in 1669 under his ally Rajput Raja Ram Singh, one who had led a combined Mughal and Rajput army to the edges of the Mughal Empire to find himself in unfamiliar territory. The Ahom's advantage lay in their knowledge of the territory, while the Mughals preferred an open, open battle. Borbukan engaged in a guerrilla warfare, assaulting the invaders and then falling back until Ram Singh Wan unleashed his entire forces on the Ahoms, defeating them in the Battle of Alaboy. The loss in Alaboy perhaps inspired the Ahoms for another spirited battle two years later in Sairakad, where the defenders engaged the Mughals in a naval battle. According to historical accounts, Lachit is said to have tricked the Mughals by feigning an attack in front. As the fleet advanced on the river Pramabudra, the main Ahom fleet attacked from behind, sealing a victory for the locals. It is said that an old Ram Singh wrote back to Aurangzeb, describing the prowess of the Ahom soldiers who were all, according to him, experts at rowing boats, shooting arrows, digging trenches and wielding guns and cannons. In the letter often quoted by historians, Ram Singh relates that one single individual had led all the forces and that he had not seen such warriors in any other parts of India. The warrior's prowess of the northeastern soldiers remains to this day and is represented by the Assam Regiment. On the occasion of the regiment's raising on 15 June 1941, Sir Robert Reid, the governor of Assam, had said, according to a press information bureau release, you are the living symbol of Assam's martial ardor, the embodiment of our physical strength, and I have no doubt your steadfastness, your bravery, your skills, and your endurance will surpass all. Today, Lachit's extraordinary courage and leadership is honored by the National Defense Academy, which awards a gold medal in his name every year since 1999 to the best cadet. A bust of Lachit also stands at the NDS entrance. Dr. Janabi Gogoi, a Dibrugar University professor who specializes in medieval history, told the Indian Express that Lachit's bravery was all the more remarkable because he was terribly ill during the war. Lachit Borbukan has been invoked by both the Congress and the PJB. A war memorial for the soldiers who fought at Alaboy is being built as part of Lachit's 400-year anniversary. The government is also trying to turn the burial sites of a home royalty scattered across Charaido Hillocks into a UNESCO World Heritage Site.